Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of this root locus lecture session. Uh, in this video, I am going to uh, find the root locus of the second question that we have seen earlier, uh, that is uh, the open loop transfer function is k by s into s square plus 4s plus 13, uh, the one with uh, complex roots or complex poles. So let's get on with it. The first few steps are uh, similar to that of uh, the one with the real poles. The first step is finding or locating the poles and zero. So poles, uh, we have uh, one pole is zero as s is in the denominator and we have to solve this equation s square plus 4s plus 13. Uh, that uh, s equal to minus b plus or minus uh, root of b square minus 4ac by Okay, uh, however I will solve that with the calculator. So I obtained the roots as minus 2 plus 3i and minus 2 minus 3i. So two complex poles and the zeros are nil, there are no zeros. Now what we find out next is the number of poles that is 3 and number of zeros is 0 F from that we obtain the number of asymptotes that is number of poles minus number of zeros is 3 minus 0 is directly 3 I'll just quickly uh, mark these poles and zeros in a separate sheet of paper uh, poles here let it be 1 pole is 0 minus 1 minus 2 so 0 is a pole and the other poles are minus 2 plus 3i okay and minus 2 minus 3i so I marked the poles now we can find out uh, what part of the real axis is actually a part of a root locus as you can see here uh, there is a only one pole on the real axis that is zero so if we consider any point to the uh, left of zero it, it will all uh, have only one pole or odd number of poles to its right so the entire uh, negative axis negative x axis is a part of a root locus so let me uh, darken that up Putting that aside, we will uh, come back to our equations. Now we find out the uh, angle of asymptotes. There are three asymptotes. We have, uh, find out the angle of asymptotes. Uh, what is the formula? 2q plus 1 by np minus nz into 180. So here as you can see, it is uh, the NP minus NZ is 3 so 2Q plus 1 into 180 as in the previous case we get angles 60 degree 180 degree and 300 degree now from where to draw these asymptotes that is a centroid so uh, the formula for centroid is uh, sum of poles minus sum of zeros by NP minus NZ so what is the sum of poles here that is 0 plus minus 2 plus 3i plus minus 2 minus 3i uh, minus a whole 0 for uh, the sum of zeros and np minus nz we already have 3 so uh, this 3i and this 3i gets cancelled so the minus 4 by 3 or minus 1.33 comma 0 is our centroid so I will draw the asymptotes uh, as in the previous case we get from minus 1.33 we will draw uh, asymptotes at 60 degree, 180 degree and 300 degrees. I will just roughly uh, draw a 60 degree here. Okay. Now this is 300 degree, 60, 300 and 180 is already our axis line so these are the three asymptotes next step we can find out the break in or breakaway points so uh, the formula for 
break away point or uh, we can we try to write the Kapsosik equation first which is and uh, we uh, find out k as minus s cube plus 4 s square plus 13 s and uh, when we differentiate and equate it to 0 we get uh, I'm directly writing the values in order to save time so uh, s we get values as uh, minus 1.33 plus or minus 1.6 j in uh, real uh, roots or uh, real roots we uh, substitute or see whether they form a part of a root locus or other another method is we substitute this value uh, in the va in this equation and check if it is real and positive if it is not real and positive that is not break away points so uh, here both s values that is minus 1.33 plus 1.6 j and minus 1.33 minus 1.6 j uh, when we substitute in this value of k we get we do not get a real and positive value so these two are not break away points so this this particular question has no break away point uh, now let's uh, directly find out the points where it intersects the j omega axis for that we substitute j omega in this equation so j omega cube plus 4 j omega square plus 13 j omega plus k is equal to 0 or when we simplify if I we get something like this and equating the imaginary parts minus omega cube plus 13 omega equal to 0 or omega cube equal to 13 omega omega square equal to 13 omega equal to plus or minus root 13 which is plus or minus 3.6 so the points where it meets the j omega axis are 0 comma 3.6 and 0 comma minus 3.6 now the very important point in this lecture is as we have complex roots, uh, complex poles, we have to find out a new term uh, called the angle of departure. Angle of departure or angle of arrival. Angle of departure. So, how to find out the angle of departure? For that we have to make use of the graph model graph we have plotted thus far angle of departure uh, we can uh, the formula for that is angle of departure is 180 minus 5p plus 5z here 5p is the angle contributed by the poles and phi z is that contributed by the zeros uh, we uh, will get to that uh, as there are no zeros we can directly write a zero and for poles there are three poles right so for at this pole let me mark this as p1 these two uh, poles make some angle with this pole so we have to find out these two angles and the the sum of these two angles would give us 5p let me show you let me mark this here this this angle plus uh, this angle that is this pole makes an angle with the horizontal and the pole here uh, this pole makes an angle with the horizontal and the pole here uh, the angle is directly 90 degrees as you can see and what is this angle to find out that angle uh, we can find out this angle let me mark this theta uh, theta is tan inverse this is a right triangle so uh, it's height is 3 and the base is 2 so tan inverse 3 by 2 so the required angle is 180 minus theta is equal to 180 minus tan inverse 3 by 2 the value would be 123.69 degrees you can calculate that one 
so uh, we ga we have one the angle this make uh, with p1 is 123.69 and the other angle which uh, the other pole makes with p1 is 90 degrees so 5p here is 123.69 plus 90 uh, which would be 213.69 all right uh, so uh, we can get the angle of departure as 180 minus 213.69 that is minus 33.69 degrees so the angle the root locus makes with p1 is uh, minus 33.69 and as these uh, root locus are symmetrical about the axis x-axis here the angle it would make would be plus 33.69 you can find out in this fashion here also if you want uh, you can cross check it and the angle would still be positive of this angle that positive 33.69 and here to calc uh, to calculate or to draw the root locus uh, we take the angle from P1 and as it is negative uh, we go in the clockwise direction so if we take an angle let this angle be 33.69 I have taken 33.69 in the clockwise direction this would be minus 33.69 and here I will take just in the anti-clockwise direction angle here 33.69 so these are our starting points of our root locus now what we uh, did is in the previous one was we uh, started from a breakaway point and uh, gradually aligned it with the uh, or gradually made it parallel with the asymptote here also do the same thing uh, gradually move it along the asymptotes this is uh, but uh, note one point I'm extremely sorry I just forgot uh, we have found out uh, the points it meets on the geomega axis that is plus uh, 3.6 and minus 3.6 so this point should be 0 comma 3.6 and here locate uh, the 0 comma minus 3.6 and the root locus should pass through that point and parallel to the uh, asymptote okay uh, if you draw this neatly on a graph sheet, you would get a better picture. So that is all about root locus. Uh, practice with more problems and it will be really easy to you. So if we have exams tomorrow, all the best. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and stay connected with the community. Thank you.